Let's take a trip back in time and find out when the first functions appeared that are inseparable from today. To have a landmark in the chronology, you must know that the first mobile phone was launched in 1983 and it was called Dynatech 8000X. With the 1.1 kilogram, the phone offered only 30 minutes of talk time and required 10 hours of charging, all for the price of $4,000 or $12,000 today. The next important step was taken after 10 years, when in 1992, Nokia launched the world's first mass-produced GSM 2G phone. It was called Nokia 1011 or Mobira City Man 2000 and costs the equivalent of 2,000 euros these days. With the advent of 2G, the world's first SMS message was sent. The SMS contained the message, Merry Christmas, and was sent from a computer by engineer Neil Papworth, who worked at Vodafone, to colleague Richard Jarvis, who received it on his orbital cordless phone. Another phone that deserves special attention is the Simon Personal Communicator, the first smartphone in the world. The phone offered new functions at the time. Namely, it had a touchscreen, a stylus you could send emails and faxes, it had a calendar and an address book, and it cost $599. Because at that time, the internet was starting to be very popular, in 1996, the internet browsing function was introduced for the first time on the Nokia 9000 communicator. In addition to surfing the internet, you could send faxes, emails, do word processing or spreadsheets. Also then, Motorola introduced the first phone with a vibration function, the StarTac model. Two years later, we got the first color screen on a phone. It was called Siemens S10, and its screen could reproduce only four colors – red, green, blue and white. Nokia launches the Nokia 7110, the first mobile phone to include a WAP browser, thus enabling internet browsing. Also then, Nokia launched the 5210 model, which had a splash-resistant casing, which made it quite popular. Immediately, the first phone with built-in GPS appeared, Benefinesque, launched by the mobile phone manufacturer Benefin. A truly important innovation was the launch of the first camera phone. This was the Kyocera VP210 visual phone, which had a front-facing camera and could only store 20 photos. In the year 2000, the first phone with the built-in camera, the Sharp JSH04, was released. It had a 110,000 pixel CMOS sensor and a 256 color display. Also, the dual SIM functionalities was introduced for the first time on the Benavent Twin. In 2001, functions such as IR, radio and calendar were introduced, and the first mobile phone that had them was the Nokia A310. Later, the first mobile phone with Bluetooth appeared, the Ericsson T39 model. Also, the 3G network was launched for the first time, and the first device to support the 3G WCDMA 2100 MHz band was the Nokia 6650 from 2002. The fingerprint scanning function came faster than you thought. It was introduced in 2004 on the Pantech GI100 phone. In 2005, the waterproof function was launched for the first time on the phone, Casio G-Zone. It could be submerged under water up to a depth of 1 meter. NFC technology had been introduced since 2007, and the first to benefit from this function was the Nokia 6131, a flip phone. One could share files wirelessly, store business cards, and even make payments. 720p video recording appeared in 2009, with the Samsung Omnia HD being the first smartphone with the 720p recording capabilities. Here is the moment when the 4G long-term evolution LTE standard was launched and the first phone to benefit from this feature was the HTC Evo from 2010. From Apple, we have some innovative features introduced in 2010. Namely, it was the micro-SIM technology and the Retina display on the iPhone 4. At the same time, the water-resistant feature was introduced for the first time on a smartphone. The Motorola Defi was launched with an IP67 rating for water and dust resistance. Also in 2010, the 1080p video recording function was introduced on the LG Optimus 2X. In 2011, Nokia introduced the optical image stabilization function for the first time on a phone. The Nokia Lumia 920 was the first phone with optical image stabilization and also came with wireless inductive charging. In 2012, NanoSIM technology was introduced and the first to use it was the iPhone 5. And the triple SIM technology was introduced in 2013 on the LG Optimus L42 Tri E470. 
the 4K video recording function was introduced, the first phone with this function being the Acer Liquid S2. 2014 comes with innovations from Samsung, which for the first time launches the heart rate monitor function on the Galaxy S5. HDR technology appeared in 2016, the first device with the HDR display being the Sony Xperia X. At the same time, Dolby Vision HDR came in 2017. The LG G6 was the first to benefit from it. Also in 2017, eSIM technology was introduced on Google Pixel 2 and 2XL. Also one of the most revolutionary functions, face recognition, was launched in 2017, iPhone X being the first smartphone to introduce this aspect. After more than 10 years since the introduction of the fingerprint sensor, in 2018, the in-display fingerprint sensor was launched on the Vivo X21 phone. 6K video recording was introduced in 2019, when Samsung released the first mobile phone camera sensor capable of this. The Xiaomi Mi Note 10 was the first to receive the sensor. Wi-Fi 6 was launched in 2019, and the first phone in the world with support for it was the Samsung Galaxy S10 and S10+. Plus. Here we are at 5G technology, so Samsung officially launched the first phone with native 5G support, the Galaxy S10 5G model in 2019, 